Hello, we're back out in the desert for another computer craft tutorial. Um, decided to pick these up because I've been looking into more stuff and I've been experimenting with some of the ideas that you've uh, commented on. But first I'm going to build up to the main idea of what I'm going to be doing with os.sleep, which is a function designed to pause a program for a set amount of time. Well, you know, you say pause, but really it's um, it's just a, del it's a delay. It's that's a that's a better wording of it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the um, fancy stuff that well it's not really fancy you know how we do all this um, and put some text on the screen. So monitor peripheral wrap monitor dot set cursor pause cursor I can't spell you'll also know that from this series cursor pause. Uh, one, one, might as well. Um, monitor set text scale, yeah, scale, and then make that five, five, five. Text scale often covers one block of the thing, so it'll be like one block is five text high, whatever. You'll you you know what you'll see what I mean. Um, monitor set text scale. Um, one oh 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 having a bit of a derby moment uh, monitor clear function quite an important function that shouldn't have missed it out uh, it probably isn't too bad at the start of the code but if you're going to be looping stuff then it's going to be an issue because the stuff that you didn't clear is going to be still on the screen uh, you know it matters in the future it's a good habit to get into monitor right um let's let's put hello again hello so if we control s and control e and then type reboot we should get the hello on the screen i might just you know oh i'll just reboot that there we go got a, got the uh, text on the screen right um so now what we're going to do is we're going to do edit startup And what we're going to do is we are going to do like sort of an alternating flashing thing. So it's going to move, it's going to sort of go hello and then underneath it's going to go there. But the hello on top is going to go. Um, you'll see what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the thing in. So OS sleep 1. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to do monitor clear so this is where most of it comes in so what happens then is it will clear the monitor basically clear the monitor monitor dot set cursor pause and we're just going to have it set to one no now I always I, I, I do sometimes get confused but I always remember coordinates is um, along the corridor and up the stairs so basically you've got your along, you got your x-axis and then you got your y-axis going up the stairs. It's just something that my maths teacher taught me and uh I'm quite I'm quite proud to know that knowledge because it's it's it is quite handy, it's helped me a lot in life. Um so what we're gonna do, monitor set cursor pause. Are we really? No we're not. We're not gonna do that again. Uh, monitor dot right there. We're gonna put there this time. Wait, no, no, no capital, just so it doesn't uh, interrupt it. So Control S, Control E, reboot. As you can see, hello there, right? Now this is quite cool. You know, this this is it's quite funky how you can do that. But what if you want a loop, right? What what you want to do is you want to put while true do now what this does is it loops whatever you put underneath it up to the point where you say end so end and then we're going to just control e reboot hello and then it switches oh it's going to stay on hello because i've made quite a control t to terminate edit startup now I did have another thing 
you will because I've only put one OS sleep, it pauses, switches dark, goes straight back to that. Now that's 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 where the issue is coming in here. Um so OS dot sleep because we need it to pause um here so at line seven and at line eleven as well. And we're just gonna pause it. One is basically one second. So now I've got that sorted if I reboot. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. You so you get the idea, that that'll just keep looping on. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. Um, I'm going to do another tutorial on a slightly bulkier code, so um, that should be interesting, and you, you, you should be able to enjoy that. Um, I am in the currently process of refining this code, uh, but it will answer a lot of your questions. You know, I've had a lot of requests. It's like um, to do with mainly mainly with scrolling. You know, with scrolling text. Um, and it, you know, this this sort of idea can be thing. So the first one could be hello, the second one could be hello, but you could also have another line. So, so you know, the set cursor pause and have a monitor write function, like basically writing whatever you want in there. So it does actually in fact scroll down. Um, but yeah, I, I I will investigate into scrolling, it's like. Uh, code that does scroll text. I don't know why I jump around. I, I seem to jump around on these monitors. Like I just jump around on these. You know, I, I, you know, maybe maybe I should just go and jump around on this beehive instead. You know, just, just jump around on this beehive and maybe maybe in fact, in fact this cacti as well. Being on creative, it doesn't do fuck all way. But um, that's it. I guess you know. We, you, I've taught you how to use the function OS dot time. I've, I've sort of done it. It's it's not really practical if I'm honest, but um, you can use it. And I've I've given you some ideas. So maybe if you go out there and just try things out for yourself, you know, uh, that's that's how really I want these things to work. You know, you, you learn the stuff and then you put it in your thing, and all in one Minecraft day as well. Awesome. Well, I'll see you later. Look out for more videos. Uh, goodbye.